This is Jordan Kirk with TechCrunch, and we are at the White House where President Obama just spoke on diversity in the tech sector. What's happening here is that the White House is holding its first ever tech demo day, which means that 30 companies, 90 entrepreneurs in all, came to show their stuff to the president. On a typical demo day, uh, entrepreneurs, like many of you, pitch your ideas to potential investors in venture capital or elsewhere. Uh, and it is a high-stress, make-or-break moment. It can change the course of your life. You don't, folks are peppering you with questions. You don't know uh, what's going to be coming. Uh, today was much more relaxed because you just had to pitch the President of the United States <laughs> with your ideas. So, uh, yes, no, no problem. This particular battery technology uh, applications for everything from cars to devices to That's you right. name it. Yeah, we just, we just uh, had an investment from Dyson, and mm -hmm. so we uh, will first put our batteries into their products, factory cleaners and consumer electronics and so forth. And after that, the sky's the limit. The, the reason we started the company was to get into electric vehicles. And it wasn't really about getting funding like we're used to in Silicon Valley. Instead, it was about sharing the story of how diverse companies are making a difference in the United States. Uh, we learned that only 3% of all VC-backed companies in the U.S. are run by women. Only 1% run by African Americans. And of all the U.S.-based VC firms, only 4% of venture capitalists are women. Right now, one study shows that fewer than 3% of venture capital-backed companies have a woman as their CEO. Another study showed that fewer than 1% have an African American founder. Yeah, we've seen again and again that companies with diverse leadership often outperform those that don't. That's the market that is out there, not just here in the United States, but globally. Uh, so that lack of participation from everybody isn't good for business. We've got to make sure that everybody's getting a fair shot. The, the next Steve Jobs might be named Stephanie or uh, Esteban. They might never set foot in Silicon Valley. We've got to unleash the full potential of every American. I think anything that helps startup companies get additional capital makes it easier, makes it more flexible. I think that's great, especially for underrepresented um, minorities, women. I think it's a, it's a great thing. I developed this uh, when I was talking with my mother, who is elderly, has a lot of diseases. She lives out in a remote area. It was so hard for her to get a blood test done. It was just tragic. I thought, this is crazy. Why can't we make it easy for everyone? So the idea here is to include more people and get more diversity going in the U.S. tech sector. It seems like the administration and the president are fully behind that. This White House Demo Day is just the first step in a number of initiatives that are rolling out soon.